So you finished building your 3D printer enclosure, started printing inside it, and then heard about some potentially toxic fumes. You decide it's better to be safe and start looking at 3D printer exhaust systems. You could design your own, or you could just keep watching to see how I made a completely modular magnetic exhaust system you can easily tailor to fit your setup. I took inspiration from this video linked in the description. After designing the core pieces, I planned out how I wanted to run the exhaust from both enclosures and printed all the pieces I would need. I glued in six 6x3mm magnets, making sure to alternate the magnet's polarity so each of the parts can be snapped together with at most a 60 degree rotation. The exception being the computer fan mounts which would need a 90 degree rotation at most. I then drilled a 4.5 inch hole in the rear corner of the enclosure for the mount. Since I was printing, I capped it to prevent any drafts from wrecking my prints. I used some M4 knurled inserts to mount the computer fans and for the positive and negative posts of the butt converter. I decided to use waffle connectors for the positive and negative instead of wrapping the computer fan wires around the posts. You can actually control the computer fan speed by adjusting the voltage. I decided to leave mine right at 12. I didn't have enough of black or silver 4 inch flexible hose so I ended up having to use a bit of each. I cut a slot in a piece of scrap plywood I had lying around and mounted the window adapter. I followed this video on making a DIY fog machine to try and test the exhaust, but I couldn't seem to get the smoke to show on film and almost burnt my house down.
So instead, I decided to cut up some tissue paper and place it around the enclosure. Initially, I made a few miscalculations. My enclosures are about 25 cubic feet each, 50 total. And the fans with the fancy all stealth black cable were only good for about 46.5 cubic feet a minute. That means I should have been able to completely exhaust each enclosure every 30 seconds. But I placed a third fan at the end of the Y, which slowed down the entire exhaust to 46.5 cubic feet per minute, meaning it would take over a minute to exhaust each enclosure. Plus, they were rated for a really low static pressure, 0.78 millimeters H2O, whatever that means, so the suction at the enclosure was almost non-existent. I swapped out the computer fans for two inline duct fans and quickly realized it was a bit of overkill. I switched to one inline duct fan and using the variable speed dial, I'm able to control how much air is being exhausted depending on what I'm printing. Depending on the size of your enclosure and the distance to your window, computer fans will probably work fine. It is modular, so you can always play around with configuration like I did. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, please visit my website, see if there's anything you'd like. I also will place affiliate links in the description. If you like this 3D printer enclosure and want to build it for yourself, check out this video here.